The news of Gunna snitching in the YSL Rico case went viral after video footage was released of Gunna admitting YSL is a street team to the judge. Now, Gunna also confirmed that YSL members commit crimes while also putting serious charges onto Young Thug. As on December 14th, the YSL Rico case changed for the absolute worst for Kingpin Young Thug. When his longtime best friend known as Gunna accepted a plea deal inside of the courtroom so he could be released from prison. In the plea deal, Gunna had to admit that YSL is a street team that commits crimes as shared in this video. If you're a fan of Young Thug, leave a like on the video. I'm curious how many fans are watching today. Now, once that court footage was leaked online, the rap world went crazy. As Boosie tweeted within minutes, Rat, this would have put tears in my eyes. My brother, my artist, what? I'm fighting for my life that I'm not running a street team, and then you do this to me, big dog. Now you already know it's a street team, and if the firearms and narcotics aren't yours, then who's else in the car were they? Now in case you're confused from that tweet, allegedly one of the charges against Gunna was for narcotics and firearms found inside of a vehicle that he was driving in with Young Thug. Gunna claimed in court and in the plea deal that the firearm and narcotics are not his. Then obviously, this would then land on Young Thug as he was the only other person in the vehicle. As Boosie tweeted again, he has one charge. He was not gonna get any hard time. These lawyers don't give a damn about your legacy. They know what they're doing to your name, but they're getting you out of jail so their name blows up and you gotta pay them more. And they made you cooperate. Young Thug's reaction to Gunna snitching in court was something no Young Thug fan would ever want to see. As it affected Young Thug even more, knowing that the Gunna plea deal court hearing was a surprise emergency hearing. Young Thug had no idea it even went down. As in the video clip shared earlier, the the courtroom is practically empty on the inside. Sources also claim while Gunna was accepting his plea deal in the courtroom, he did not even sound too happy. Many believed him getting released from prison, he would have been excited. Allegedly, he sound nothing but emotional in the courtroom. Now, it just so happened that Young Thug had his court hearing set for the next day. Walking into the courtroom without even knowing Gunna's on the outside, enjoying the free world, and that he accepted a plea deal proving that Young Thug has committed many crimes. It seemed as if the prosecutors are messing with Young Thug at this point, as during this court hearing, Young Thug was told the news of Gunna pleading guilty to several charges. In looking at these photos of Young Thug, he started looking extremely worried in the courtroom. Sadly, I can't share the video clip, but once Gunna gives up information on YSL and Young Thug was told about it in the courtroom, Young Thug is seen putting his head to the back of his chair and leaning and sinking into the chair he's sitting in, showing a lot of sad emotions as well, which is never nice to see. Now, once the court hearing was over, Young Thug was then seen standing out of his chair, staring directly into a camera, giving a smirk before going back to his normal face, almost like a sarcastic smile where you can tell the person is not happy at all. After Young Thug's reaction to Gunna snitching was posted all over social media, YSL fans were quick to turn against Gunna, and with his reputation on the line, him and his team were quick to make a statement and break the silence on the snitching rumors. As Gunna released this statement on social media, while I have agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements 
have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, and have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case. And I have absolutely no intention on being involved in the trial process in any way. While Gunna's statement makes the video of him saying yes ma'am 10 times to admitting YSL is a street team makes everything very confusing. Luckily this is where the top snitch himself Takashi69 steps in as 6 9 had this to say. Just be quiet and listen. I know y'all don't want to accept this. Your man is fighting for his life in court on RICO charges. The judge said, you are aware YSL is a street team, correct? With Gunna replying, yes ma'am. The judge then asking, only you and Jeffrey are in the car. The police find firearms and narcotics. These didn't belong to you, correct? As Gunna replies, yes ma'am. Now go ahead and make your million excuses. I stand on whatever I do or did. That's why I'm still walking this earth and nothing has ever happened to me. I am him. Real guys getting messed with can't be me. As Takashi69 has a valid point here. Many people are aware in the legal system that if Young Thug serves a life sentence in prison, it's only because snitches keep coming forward in the case. And Gunna turning his back on Young Thug has now made it extremely concerning for Young Thug. Now this seems very likely to keep on occurring as this happened on the first day of the YSL Rico case. He's the one directing traffic. He is the one they're all afraid of. He's the one that's king slime. He is the most dangerous of the 28 judge. And I, I implore you not to grant him a bond. He is dangerous. If he gets a burner judge and the court may know this, a lot of the communications that Mr. Williams is on is on FaceTime because it's not traceable. It's not trackable. Judge, I will also say that we have taken proffers from fellow members from Mr. Williams. Some are on this indictment, some are not. They have stated uniformly that Mr. Williams is dangerous. They are afraid of him, that if they cross him, he will them and their family. And they were very clear about that concerns that this court has is um, danger to persons and to intimidate other witnesses and obstruct the administration of justice. So um, I, and for those reasons in the aggregate, um, I'm going to deny bond at this time. Ever since day one, YSL members have been snitching against Young Thug, as the first snitch in the YSL case was known as Lil Woody, as it was announced a YSL member named Jaden Myrick had to admit on the stand inside of the federal courtroom that he is a YSL team member and was intimidating snitches in the case that were against Young Thug. As Jaden Myrick had to admit this, as the feds have hard-hitting evidence against him going after the snitch known as Lil Woody. Lil Woody demanded safety for him and his family after he started snitching on Young Thug. Lil Woody allegedly stated during his snitching interview that Young Thug is quote, a very dangerous person. If you cross him, he will get you and your family. Young Thug is the only man the prosecutors want. They're handing out plea deals to many YSL members. They're also allowing YSL members to snitch to be released from prison early. As Young Thug's lawyers asked in the courtroom if Young Thug could have any sort of chance of receiving bond. Prosecutors were ready for this as they had this to say about a tweet sent out on Young Thug's Twitter account. Williams is in a jail outside of Fulton County. There are zero cell phones in that jail. That last tweet that was sent out to Michael Phelps is recorded. It's been investigated by the sheriff of that county. And it was a conversation that's recorded between Mr. Williams and a member of his um, close family, uh, close friendships that he asked the other person who has control of his Twitter account. That That is not a reason to. Well, this is part of the conversation, Mr. Steele, and you and others are going to need to have with your clients because this is this is part of, of, of the state's concern. I mean, that, that was an know. innocent. That's nothing bad. Asking somebody to tweet to Michael Phelps, can you swim 100 miles in the ocean? That has nothing to do with intimidation. That asks you to Well, if, if, if I can communicate through a family member or somebody else, then I can communicate something else. Everything okay? Else? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay, your, your family was concerned that something was going on. You're, you're fine, right? Yes, I'm great. Okay, cool, cool. 
That video clip you just watched is actually a clip of Young Thug's lawyer defending him in the courtroom about a tweet that states, I'm talking with my roommate and we're wondering if you could swim 100 miles from the middle of the ocean back to shore at Michael Phelps. Now this was a tweet sent out by Young Thug's manager by Young Thug's request over the jail phone. As the prosecutors are arguing that Young Thug is sending out these tweets via his manager, that they have secretive codes inside of the tweets that only YSL members would know. And when the YSL members in the free world would read them, they would know to go delete some sort of evidence, go after a snitch, things in that nature. Now, not only did that happen in the courtroom, but also an updated list of Young Thug's charges. As Young Thug is now being charged with team involvement charges, narcotics, charges, possession of firearm charges, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony charge, possession of a fully auto firearm, three separate charges of unlawful for person employed by or associated with criminal street activity, and then to top it off, Young Thug is being charged with the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, otherwise known as the RICO charge. Young Thug is not going to take it easy with Gunna taking a plea deal. He's going to go off on him the next chance he gets to speak. If you would like to watch that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. It's been District Trending and I'm out. Peace.